If you're wondering why you're staring at a brown uh, wooden wall with a uh, broom handle or whatever hanging from it, well, it's because we have ourselves kind of a project. Not sure if this camera is going to uh, pick it up or anything, but we have ourselves um, kind of a hole here where we had one of these um, hooky holder thingies mounted to, which has pulled out. I'll uh, give you guys a bit of a closer look here at the damage. So you see here we have the hole in the wood um, paneling here where a hooky thingy just like this has pulled out. And of course upon pulling out it's kind of cracked the wood a bit. Um, if you notice, not sure if the camera picks it up, there's a crack that goes all the way up, kind of a hairline crack, but the screws will no longer bite into this. Now there is 5 8 uh, plywood behind this to bite into so I could just throw longer screws into the little um, you know hook thingy here you know put uh, an extra quarter inch or inch on here and it should bite into that 5 8 or what I could do is um, put something behind it like a, a board or so screw that to the 5 8 and then mount these little clippies to the board which would give you ample strength. Now of course um, with me, uh, with many of us probably this time of year our workshops or garages have become sheds for the winter. We're not able to get to our woodworking tools, our rotor, our saw, stuff like that. So of course we found a simple solution here. Uh, go down to your um, everyday hardware store, pick up one of these uh, what they call ready hooks or wood uh, planks or whatever. These things here are pretty much uh, ready made, ready to go. All you really have to do, uh, some of them you don't even have to stain them or nothing. Some of them have a clear coat on them, some of them are uh, already stained to your deep uh, like a dark espresso or white, um, pretty much whatever uh, color you know you need. Um, instead of rotoring your board, this one here, like I said, pretty much comes ready to mount on the wall. So what we'll do is we'll tear into this package, uh, see what we're up against, and then go from there. So pretty much in front of us here, we have the blister pack uh, package here. Uh, we'll tear into her. Of course, you could call this a fix-it video and an unboxing video if you really wanted to get, um, you know, technical or fancy or whatever. I chose this piece of wood um, basically because it is sanded and pretty smooth. There might be a thin layer of clear on here, but it's not all painted or finished. Plus, um, I can give this a gentle sand and restain this to match the wood it's going on. Plus, like I said, I don't have to tear into my garage to get uh, out my woodworking tools. So here we have a bag of screws. Of course, the longer ones are to mount it to the wall or surface, and the shorter ones are for these little coat hooks. Now, why did I buy a coat hook uh, rack for to use for these? Well, of course, like I just finished saying, um, it's easier for me than uh, doing a bunch of woodworking after digging out your tools. So it works for me. So what we're gonna do is mount this to the wall and we'll probably end up having to drill pilot holes for these to mount into the wood. So we'll get set up here guys and then we'll get at her. So guys what we'll do is we'll start by removing the uh, hook that's already uh, left on the wall here. Then what we'll do is we'll take our board that we're going to put up on here, kind of putting it over top of the marks on the wall. You kind of want to look and have it centered as well as, you know, have it um, level. So what you can do there if you want, you can measure to make sure she's centered in the wall. 
You can put little marks on there so you don't have to redo all this process over again. Uh, once you've done that, you can pre-drill pilot holes and uh, start running in your screws. Okay, so once you've got your marks uh, marked out on the wall where you want your board and stuff like that, you can take your drill, your screwdriver and everything, get everything uh, lined up to um, as per your marks, and you can start running in uh, your screws. So pretty much just like that, once you've got the other screw in, you can give them a tighten down. Of course you don't want to over tighten them and you don't want to drive them through the back of the wood because these are countersunk. So there really there can't be much um, much wood left in the, in the board here before it's through the back. <clears throat> now the kit uh, does include uh, some of these little plugs here, which of course will go in there and plug off the uh, screw holes. So once you've got this all mounted on there you can decide on whereabouts you're going to want your um, you know little hooks yet by deciding on where you want them. You know I'm thinking about putting one there and um, possibly putting another one back at this end in here and in the middle I can put a couple of little small utility hooks to hang um, we'll say keys on or other assorted uh, small stuff on kind of in the middle so yeah we'll probably put one uh, somewhere in there and another one somewhere in there so again guys we'll get set up for that and um, see how it goes so what I'm gonna do here guys is I'm gonna cheat rather than drilling my own holes for my hooks what I'm going to do is use the top hole on the pre-drilled holes to put the hooks into. Now of course the uh, pre-drilled holes were put here to, for the coat hooks, right? That's why there's a set of four, because there's a set of four hooks, but being I'm not going to use them, um, not at this point anyways, uh, we're going to use the top set of holes for our little utility hooks. So of course, taking our handy dandy screw gun here and our hook, we're going to, you know, use that to drive the screw in. Kind of like so. We'll do the same on the other end with the uh, other hook here. Now of course you can go through the um, task if you want or hassle if you want to pre-drill in the bottom holes. Then that way you can ensure you're not going to split the wood, you're not going to have any issues. But this is a fairly soft wood and uh, it should be okay not to split. And pretty much like that, there you go, we have the first one uh, secured. And uh, we'll run the second one in here. Pretty much like that. 
Now, like I said, you can put uh, cup hooks in the center here for utility hooks, um, you know, to save having to go down and buy something. I was thinking of just using the original hooks. Now, of course, to make it look proper, um, these should either be white or these should be changed to chrome. But hey, you know, the price is right. They're just going to sit in a drawer anyways. So you might as well use um, the hardware that's supplied. Pretty much the same concept, uh, putting the screw in the hole, tightening her on down, and she's good to go. Now most um, drills or drivers or whatever nowadays have a torque setting that you can set so they don't over tighten. When you're dealing with um, with wood that's a little bit unsure of, you can set and set the torque setting so it'll only tighten down to a certain uh, certain torque before starting to skip. Basically, that prevents you from um, overdriving the screw, prevents you from stripping out the head of the screw, uh, prevents you from well, helps to prevent from splitting the wood itself, which of course uh, would really really suck at this stage in the project. And yeah, having the holes pre-drilled are really, really nice because it uh, saves you time. Save, saves you having to dig out a drill and your little fine drill bits, which of course, uh, most of the time are either lost or broke or non-existent to begin with. And there you go, pretty much have her. You can use it for hanging um, all sorts of stuff, hanging up a broom, hanging up a mop, if you so choose. You have your center one here that you can uh, use for hanging up other items like if you wear a hat you can hang on there or if you have any other type of um, any other type of hangable items they're uh, they're really good for that. Well guys um, you know if you're like me and like I said didn't want to dig out the tools and go down and buy a piece of wood that's already pre-finished pre-sanded pre, -finished, pre, -sanded, pre uh, you know clear coated or varnished uh, put your own hooks on it uh, use their hooks whatever you choose and you got yourself either a coat rack a utility rack a nice backboard for uh, putting a towel rack on whatever you choose of course for my function I did it this way for yours you can do whatever your imagination imagines so guys um, like I said this has been just a little bit of a um, little hourly project here just to get uh, couple things out of the way. So as always, thanks for watching Maxwell's World. Comment, subscribe, and enjoy.